let's get to work on those blue bonnets. Now I've already started a little bit of my field back here just because I needed to work very carefully around the horse's nose, nostrils, and muzzle and everything and get his reins and the bit in there. But now I'm going to start going to start working on that field. And the blue bonnets with the, the sun behind them get a little more of a purple tone, just the reds and that, that warmth. Brings, makes them a little more purple, so I'm using a mix of my dioxanine purple plus ultramarine blue plus white. And I'm just put, putting a bunch of color up here. Now the blue bonnets, I add some dark. This is ultramarine blue plus white. This is my ultramarine blue again plus white. I'm going to have some cactus back there, so I'm not worried about that. And I get these, start bringing them in. And the field's not going to be solid blue bonnets. There's going to be some grasses and stuff out there. So I'm going to let this work carefully around here. Now that light is coming in behind, underneath the horse's leg. So I'll have more light back in here. Again, you can see this is a bright brush, square, square-ended brush, but I can use the corner of the brush to work around my sketch. My sketch is dry. It was done with my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue, plus one part of alizarin crimson, and I mix liquid into that. And so it makes a, just a nice oil wash that I can sketch up a tunnel sketch of my my painting and that gives me guidelines. I've worked out all the details of the anatomy of the horse and and uh, chants and everything. So that just helps me get get going. And then I start adding some little texture, some different colors into this. Again, I want to work work carefully around my my anatomy of the horse. Actually, this is, don't quite have this right. She, horse's name is Kristen. And this, she needs a little more muscle in her upper foreleg right there. So I just take the mixture of mud and my liquid. And then her chest comes down here. quarter horse, so she's very well muscled. Okay, got that. Again, we're, that sunlight's coming through, so it's, it's the early morning sun just gives us a nice little haze of light on those blue bonnets. As they come forward, they get a little more blue in them. And there'll be a few, a few in here. I'm not going to worry about this far hillside yet behind me. Well, I guess I will go ahead and just add, again, some of that purplish light comes back here. There's going to be trees here. And then this comes in behind behind the horse. I'm going to go ahead and paint over where her tail goes because then I can pull her tail right into that wet paint and it makes the edges nice and soft. And there's a little bit of light there and then it starts getting darker. I'll work around my cactus. Again, you can see how I can just use the edge of that corner of that brush to work around those shapes. Now coming forward, I start adding some cobalt blue in there. Cobalt blue plus white. That's a little more intense. It's a little brighter color. So that just comes forward. Blue bonnets are an upright, 
flowers, so that's why I'm making my strokes upright. I'll have a few little blue bonnets in here that come in front of that rock. And then some come back here behind her leg. I'll use a smaller brush to work around her legs there, but pull out my smaller brush. And I want this light to come back here, catch back here, and I can just brace. This This is a standard canvas, and I've just got it attached to a piece of cardboard. What I do is I, I put a couple screw eyes on the back of it. The size is a 12 by 16, and so I think that's what it is. Either 12 by 16 or 11 by 14, I'd have to measure it. But anyway, I took two, two screw eyes, put them into the stretcher bars, and then where they're protruding out, I just stick that on a piece of cardboard. I punch the, I can just push it down, punch holes through the cardboard, and then stick nails in there. And that attaches the canvas to the cardboard. So that makes it easier. I have a cardboard around the, the painting that makes it very easy then to handle the wet painting. So I've got my work around my cacti. Bring some of my cobalt blue flowers in here. Now the horse is dry. The, my sketch, underlying sketch is dry. So if I happen to paint over an area, then I can just lift that, that paint off and it doesn't affect my sketch. That's why I like to do the oil sketch and then, then I have it and that way if I happen to paint over it, I can just easily lift that color off. Now I'm going to start putting some of my grasses and just foliage back there. This is mixtures of phthalo blue plus white plus a little bit of cadmium orange. And I just can bring that in between my those white spots. Because the field is just, it's got blue bonnets and grass. And then there's also the underlying foliage underneath the blue bonnets. And again, here in the light then, those that gets a little bit lighter those grasses and, and things. And in the distance they just, it's, you can just use brush strokes to indicate. I'm going to get a, make a few brush strokes of just my phthalo blue plus white. Just to add some interest and coolness back there. Mix that up real quick. I mix most of my colors up beforehand, but occasionally I decide to add a color or two that I don't uh, have mixed up. So, and add some of that purple in here. So we've got just here's some of that. They love blue in there. Just add some nice different colors. And I can add my blue bonnets in there. I need to mix a little more color here. Okay, now if you come closer, some of this foliage underneath the blue bonnets is going to get a little bit darker. So I can add that in. And I'm going to, going to have an outcropping of some limestone rocks in here. And 
I just work around that brush stroke. I'll come back and paint more of the blue bonnets, but this is just getting them blocked in. I want to get all my color in there. And I add variation within the, the greens. I don't want it all the same, same green. I paint this pretty thickly. I want a lot of texture in there. Well, I got garbage trucks and motorcycles and everything going by today. This is how I get the blue bonnet started. Let me just show you. Um, I'm not going to paint the whole field right now, but I want to um, add some of the little tops on the blue bonnets, the little, the little white caps, the little, little blue hats. I guess they're white hats on blue bonnets. I have a friend that calls these flowers blue hats. So, and then this, this is what then identifies these as blue bonnets as you start adding the little. Little, little tops on them. And this is not pure white. This is white plus a little bit of ultramarine blue. This, this gives you, that's what makes these blue bonnets, blue bonnets. As you go back, they get a little bit smaller. They go at the top of the, the brush strokes of blue. And they become closer together. Now back there, the, the sunlight's kind of just washed all the color out of those. So you don't really get a lot, see a lot of the little caps. But as you come closer and the flowers have more color, you start seeing those caps. have a few here underneath the horse. A few more blue bonnets in here. This is my cobalt blue plus white. It starts getting up here where you can start seeing some of the individual flowers. In the distance you just see a field of blue, but as you come forward you start getting the, the individual flowers in. If you've never been to Texas in the spring, it's just when we have a good spring, and it's not every year. Like this year, I don't think we'll have a very good spring because we've just been so dry that if we have a rainy winter, it may get be dreary and rainy all winter long, but boy, we just get the payoff in the spring when it is just so incredibly beautiful. But I just can put those extra little brush strokes. And by having a multitude of color in there with the purples and blues, that really makes it interesting. And again, in nature, everything's not exactly the same color. So you get lots of little different different shades and tones. And so you can see this starts to take shape. This is my cobalt blue plus white. still have a lot more work to do on these, but this, this shows you how I block them in and then how I will come back and add the little white white tops that, that say these are blue bonnets. And as you get closer, the little white tops get bigger. appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Always feel free to ask questions. 
You can just make them ask your question in the comments section. I promise to answer. It may not be the very same day, but I will get back to you. And I do these because I have, for two reasons. I, this, like this is commission, and I do this for my collectors so they can follow along as I paint their, their painting. But then I also do it to teach artists, to help fellow artists. And so please feel free to ask questions. And this is just, this is for you. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much. And visit my blog. On the blog, I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting and also the others I do. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And today, be kind to someone. If you see somebody struggling, maybe an elderly person is trying to get through a door and it's just a little too heavy for them, go open it. Be kind to somebody. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day and happy painting.